How's it going, everybody? Uh, today, I'm going to be talking about setting alerts, planning out your trades ahead of time, you know, setting alerts so that you'll get a notification on your phone when price gets to the level, and uh, then, you know, just simply waiting for that notification to come through and checking your indications to see if you're getting the uh, confirmations that you were looking for at that level. A big part of trading is doing the TA ahead of time, planning out the trades you want to take, and then just simply waiting for price to get to those levels and uh, checking to see if you got the uh, confirmations that you were looking for at those levels. And in this case, I was basically looking for a move down to this level for um, about 18 hours, you know, from when we put in this low to uh, when we actually came down and uh, hit this level I was looking for. It was almost a full day, and I'm sure most people are not going to be sitting at the charts for 18 hours waiting for price to get to their levels. So what I did is I put a horizontal line right above that level, front running it a little bit, so I would get the notification a little bit before we actually touched off the level. And uh, I came up to this bar up here, I hit add alert, and um, anybody can do this. Uh, you don't have to have paid trading view to use alerts, but uh, I think you're limited to only like five alerts or something like that with the free version. But um, you know, you can still set alerts. And so basically what this alert is gonna do is it will send you a notification once price crosses that horizontal line. So you can either have the alert sent to your phone through the app and uh, you have to have the TradingView app on your phone, or you can uh, select to send an email, or you can do both just in case, you know, maybe one doesn't send for whatever reason. And I also have this show pop-up clicked as well, so it'll just, you know, put up a uh, notification on my computer as well. And um, what I do here is I go to message. I don't uh, change the alert name because when uh, you're looking at the notifications on your app, it will just display this message here. So what I would do here is just type in, you know, whatever the uh, level is that I'm looking for. In this case, it was a naked daily level. So I would just type in naked daily. And, uh, you know, now when price crosses this line, I will uh, get a notification on my phone. So I don't have to be sitting around staring at the charts all day. I can, uh, you know, go do other stuff. And if uh, price comes to my level, I can just pull up trading view on my phone and look for the bullish divergences. So very simply, that is, you know, how you use alerts. Um, I have lots of alerts set for a lot of the uh, key levels here. And um, basically, this is, you know, how I've been trading is I do the TA ahead of time. I mark out the significant levels and then I just set alerts at them. So if we come up to here, I'll get an alert on my phone saying that we're coming into the golden pocket. If uh, we get to move up here, you know, I'll get an alert saying we are coming up to the daily open and this weekly level. And, uh, you know, now I don't have to stress about um, being away from the charts, not paying attention to price action, because if we come to one of my significant levels, you know, I'll get a notification on my phone. And um, I think this has a lot of benefits. I think it also can uh, help your psychology when trading because, at least in my case, I found that it keeps me from taking stupid trades um, because I know what trades I'm looking for and I'm not going to enter a trade most of the time unless uh, one of my alerts are triggered, unless we come to one of the key levels. So, you know, maybe if you had an issue with taking stupid trades, FOMOing into trades just because you felt like you uh, had to be exposed to the market, um, which a lot of times those stupid trades, those FOMO trades are the ones that get you the most wrecked. So, you know, one way to mitigate that is do the TA ahead of time and only take trades when we come to the key levels when you get those notifications on your phone. I found that has uh, helped me out a little bit. But uh, anyways, now let's talk about this trade that I'm in. Yesterday, we had this very large move down. I was in a long position from right over here. Took a good amount of profits out at the highs up here, but unfortunately, we started forming some bearish divs right around 4 o'clock in the morning, and we started dumping by about 9 or 10 a.m. So this whole time, I was asleep. 
And um, if I was awake, if I saw the bearish divs happening, um, I probably would have taken more profits out of my long, but that's okay. Still secured enough. And uh, this long got stopped out. So what I did next is I started looking for the uh, significant levels that we had below us, potentially looking to get into another long position down here. And uh, what I noticed is right down here in this area with this green box, we had a naked daily level, a daily level that we formed when we were, you know, down there at those lows where I took that long. And naked meaning it had not been touched yet. You know, we came very close to touching it with this wick right here. But since this daily level formed, price has not come back down to touch off of it. And typically these levels, naked dailies, naked weeklies, even naked four hours, um, are going to be most reactive off the first touch, especially if you're seeing the, uh, you know, confirmations as we're touching off that level, you know, divergences, money flow. And I saw that we had a naked daily level right in the uh, vicinity of this value area low um, of this little local range. And also this, uh, you know, general area is also the point of control of the sideways range that we've been trading in. Um, so. This was just a pretty significant area, and we happen to have a naked daily level right below it. And I was potentially looking to take a scalp from this level yesterday, but we front ran the level. We started pumping up without hitting this level, and what that actually does is it, uh, you know, it gave Bitcoin the opportunity to form some bullish divs as we came down to this level. Um, we formed a very deep momentum wave here, and you know. Us front running this level right here, us forming this deep momentum wave, gave us the uh, opportunity to form some bullish divergences as we came down to touch off this level. And uh, once we got the move back up to the upside, price started, you know, slowing down, just sort of moving sideways for a while. So, um, you know, eventually I just couldn't sit at the charts anymore and uh, I had to set an alert here and hope that, you know, I woke up by the time price came down to this level. Now, I have slept through alerts before. It happens. Um, you know, for whatever reason, Bitcoin likes to hit my levels at, like, the weirdest times, like 5 a.m., 4 a.m., sometimes, you know, right before I wake up. And um, that almost happened today. It's actually pretty crazy. I woke up, you know, I sat up, rubbed my eyes, grabbed my phone, and as I picked up my phone, I got that alert saying we were touching off that naked daily. We uh, hit off this level right about, you know, 9.30, a little bit after 9.30. And, you know, it just happened to be the exact second I was waking up. And, uh, you know, you'll notice I don't have the best entry. Um, I entered, like, let's see, about 0.34% above that naked daily level. And, uh, you know, that was because I, I didn't just get the alert on my phone and immediately enter the trade. I had to make sure I saw the confirmations, right? So I pulled up trading view on my phone. I uh, I knew which confirmations I was looking for. I was looking for basically bullish divs on either like the 12 minute and down or the 24 minute and down. And, um, you know, ideally maybe even on the one hour and down. So, you know, I pulled up trading view on my phone, looked at the one hour and wasn't seeing anything really bullish there. Money flow was curving down still. Um, Momentum waves were making lower lows still, no bullish divergences there. So I then went down to the 24 minute and this is where I started getting, you know, interested in this trade because, you know, we had some very clear bullish divergences here. Um, you can pull it from this wave back here or from this wave right here. And we had, you know, local and more longer term bullish divs here on the 24 minute. Then I went to the 12 minute, saw, you know, the exact same thing, the uh, regional and local bullish divs. You know, money flow wasn't looking the greatest, and it still isn't, honestly. But, um, you know, we saw the divs, we saw momentum, obviously, curving to the upside. And, uh, you know, we basically saw divs on the uh, smaller time frames here, so I was able to get into that trade. You know, if I had not set an alert there... I definitely would not have uh, gotten into this trade. Typically, I don't like to, you know, just pull up trading view as soon as I wake up in the morning because, you know, you got that morning mind 
um, your 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 head's not entirely there, and and uh, so you know, if unless I get a notification saying we're at my level, then um, typically I'll I'll wait a few minutes at least before I pull up Training View. So, you know, if I didn't have an alert set there, I would have missed this. You know, today things worked out for me. I got in this trade. I got profits locked in now. I hit TP1 right up here. And now I'm going to let the rest ride. I don't know if we're going to see a uh, large move to the upside. Because, you know, like I said, the 12-minute uh, money flow isn't looking the greatest. The 6-minute uh, money flow kind of seems to be curving down again at the moment. The 1-hour, even though we're printing a big BitBoy green dot, um, money flow is not looking the greatest. So... You know, maybe we can get a move up to some of these fib levels. This uh, 382, maybe this golden pocket. Um, this also has some confluence with this, uh, you know, support resistance flip right over here. So, you know, this could be a key area right up here. But, um, you know, either way, I got a profitable trade locked in because I, uh, you know, did the work yesterday. And I set an alert there. And uh, I woke up in time basically to get this trade so yeah i think that's pretty much everything i wanted to go over today uh thank you all for watching really appreciate it please consider leaving a like and subscribing and um i'll see you all in the next video peace